Welcome and thank you for joining me at Dory Creative. Today I have a simple, but I think it's going to be a fun card to put together. And I think you can use this with a variety of different papers. One of the things that when I delve into this particular project that I really wanted to do was to use some paper that I have. I feel, I'm beginning to feel as if in my lifetime I will never be able to use all of the paper that I've accumulated. Let me know in the comment section below if you feel like you're sort of in the same boat. But I really have started lately to try to see of ways that I can start to use some of the supplies that I have and actually start to clear out some of the supplies that I have that I haven't used in a long time. So this card was inspired by someone from Simon Says Stamp. I'll put the description below. And it's just a good way for me to try to use some of the papers that I've accumulated and some of the supplies. So very simply, I'm going to start off by cutting these into uh, several panels. So I have three panels of the floral. I actually used a complementary cardstock or I used a complementing type of pattern paper. One side has got an abstract floral on it, a little bit more of a larger floral, and the other has more of an all-over floral on it. And so by using the dual-sided paper, I'm sort of ensuring that I have something that matches. It takes the guesswork out of it. These are complementary papers to each other. One side is uh, complementary to the other. So I think this is a great way to go if you are not really wanting to think about it or having to search through your cards stock to find something that matches. You don't have to do that, but it was easy in my case. And I'm just going around with a worn lipstick on the outside to just highlight this so that when I put it together, it looks a little bit more finished. I actually did use four different colors on the four different cards that I'm going to show you a little later of Distress Oxides. And I think this is also a great idea to make things look a little different. So if you're creating mass amounts of cards or if you're creating the same card over and over again, one of the ways to distinguish one card from the other is to maybe switch up the ink a little bit or switch up the way that you do the paneling. This is an opportunity for you to kind of get a little creative, try something a little different. I will tell you that in this case, I didn't love all of the Distress Oxides side colors, but I did show them to a couple of people and a couple of my friends picked different colors than I did with regards to their favorites. So I think it's always good to keep in mind that everybody looks at things a little bit differently. And if you stretch yourself a little bit on the colors, maybe you don't like it 100%, but somebody else might. And so it's a good thing to sort of mix up your card designing. So now that I have all of the Distress Oxide stuff done, or the distressing done on the edges, I'm ready to mat them. And all I did to mat these was take some scrap fun foam, sometimes known as craft foam, and I really, I really wasn't worried about the color that I had because I'm making them slightly smaller than the panels themselves and they really won't show much. So this is an opportunity again for me to use some of these scraps that I have laying around without having to get into some brand new foam. I can just use some of the scraps. Now there I, I was ready to go ahead and put it down on the card base and I remembered because this has got kind of a pattern to it, I want to make sure that they're in the right order. So I want to make this tri-pattern um, I want to get them all done first so that when I go to put them on the card base, I can put them in in an order that looks cohesive and that makes it look like it fits. So I'm going in and I'm taking that bottom panel that I'm going to be putting on and I'm using some just stick it adhesive or some, some adhesive. Again, I'm really trying to use a lot of my older uh, adhesives. These are still sticky. They're still working well, but um, there are products that I probably wouldn't buy again. And I'm just trying to get rid of them so that I can go in and buy some more reputable brands, some things that I can use moving forward. And I've gone ahead and mounted that at the bottom of the card base and I'm ready to do some stamping. I'm using a Stamp It Up stamp set and I really like this particular sentiment. It just is pretty general, but it tells people that you're sort of thinking of them. I'm using VersaFine ink to go ahead and ink that and my stamp positioning tool because I had a few cards that I was going to do. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to reposition it each time. And I do like to, with VersaFine, do a couple of light stampings to get that dark color that I need rather than doing one that is really pressed hard because especially with that particular stamp, it's a little bit of a fine stamp and I don't want to overpress it so that it looks kind of squished. Now, I apologize this is off screen, but I am going ahead and putting in just a little bit of washi tape that is gold glitter. 
just to give it a little bit of an accent. And now I'm putting my panels on in the correct order. As you can see, there is a flow to the flowers, and I wanted to make sure that I was putting it in in the correct flow so that it looked correct. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting on each side. And that's important because I really don't want to have to measure out the spaces. And so I want to make sure that I can just sort of center the, the middle one into the space that's left. So by doing both sides, it's a quick way to the, kind of eyeball that center panel. Get it in it positioned correctly, and then I can go back in and eyeball that center one without having to fuss uh, too much with it. Now I'm just taking some... Uh, green raffia and I actually think this came in a My Monthly Hero kit. It was just an extra in a My Monthly Hero kit and this is a great way to use some of the supplies that you might have been holding on to. I do like to make sure that the bows are secure so I am going in with some Ma Ma Ranger Matte Medium and it's just on the bow area. It really isn't to adhere the ribbon but it's just to keep the bow correct. And then I'm going in with some uh, multimedia with some glossy accents actually to go ahead and add some dimension. And there you have it. Simple cards, fun cards, but they are a way to kind of move through and use your paper and some of your older supplies and have some cute cards. As I mentioned, I used a couple of different colors of Distress Oxides. Don't be afraid to branch out and use colors that are a little bit outside of your comfort zone. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, if you'd like a chance to receive a card from us, check us out on Patreon. Have a great day, and remember, always be creative.